Welcome. I'd like to ask you right away to please forgive my appearance as I have been at the Ball Diamond all day for my son's baseball tournament and typically I try not to have a baseball cap on when I make a video but sometimes you just have to squeeze in time to make a video when you have the time to make a video. I'm going to spend time showing you how to produce and share a video to YouTube using Camtasia. Typically I've been having you watch the Camtasia Studio tutorials and they, sh and they show you how to produce and share to screencast so I thought that I had better show you how to do this so that we follow the Toma area Toma area school district uh, protocol at this point currently producing all of our videos to a YouTube account as you can see on the screen I have already imported a camera file but we're gonna assume that I have it completely edited the way that I want to and all of my callouts and everything have been completed. At that point I simply go to produce and share. I change the drop down arrow to share to YouTube and I drop down to the bottom and hit next. You're going to want to change your username. The first time this screen appears you notice that I have the remember me box checked so my information automatically appears. Type in the username that I emailed you at the end of the school year and it should be something like your first and last name TASD at gmail.com followed by the followed by as well. Drop down to the bottom of the screen and click next. Give your video a title. I'm going to call this producing sharing a video to YouTube using Camtasia Studio. Type in a brief description that will actually show up underneath your video on YouTube. And then if you want to put any tags that will allow this video to be found other than the words that are already in the title, go ahead and type those in the tag window. So you might want to put produce, share, and that's about all I can think of. I always change every one of my videos to education for the category, and I click finish. You'll notice at that point that a rendering window appears, and at that point you simply sit still and wait. You'll notice that while this is rendering there are actually two steps so this is step one of two and you'll notice that this will crawl across the screen this will go to 100 percent and then it will change to step two and it'll go through the process again. Step two tends to go quite a bit faster than the first step and once step two is completed a YouTube internet window should open up telling you that the video is currently being processed. At that point I typically right click in the web address and copy it and go into a spreadsheet that I have created with the title of the video and I paste and I my web address so that I automatically have the link. Now granted I am actually recording and this is not yet a completed video I'll need to go back and edit it and produce and share it for you so I am not going to leave that in there and you sit here and you wait a few minutes and then eventually you're gonna click on your refresh button a couple of times and eventually that screen will turn black and show you your actual video and at that point you know that it has been uploaded and that you're good to go and I'm gonna stop there and if you have any questions tomorrow during class we can discuss it look forward to seeing you then